Bart Sanders, Blackout 33. Today we're going to be doing a review over the Doc Martin boots and shoes. I have quite a few pairs, so this might be a longer video than my normal videos. But uh, let's get started. First off, there's nothing really in here. It just looks cool. So, we have the first pair of Dot Martins, which are the basic shoe. They all have the nice sole on the bottom, four holes on the front, kind of more of a dress shoe. So I really like those. I've worn them many times. These are pretty old. Let's get rid of these. Second pair I'd like to go through are my mid ankle boots that Doc Martin makes. I'll change these out. These are these are fairly old. Uh, these are more of my hiking boots. They have five holes here, the loop metal eyelets, and the quick uh, lace up eyelets here. Good boot. The only thing I don't like about these is when you start hiking. The tongue turns like that. It don't stay straight in there for some reason. But I've had these a long time. You can see the the wear and tear. You can see the tread on the bottom are not as not as thick. Alright, let's move on. The third pair. Or a pair of Dot Martins. These are the newer pair with the black sole. These are actually made in England. It's another dress style boot. I really like the uh, the look on the front of the leather here, the way they did the stitching on the side. It's another uh, good boot that I wear. I've actually worn these at church a few times. Good look with some uh, some uh, Docker Duckhead khaki pants. Really like those. So that's my first pair of mid boots. Let's go to pair number four. Another pair of Doc Martens. Again, have the black sole. I believe these are a newer pair. These are all size 11. Uh, the leather on these, a little different. More has like a uh, elephant skin look to them. Still the same great quality. Seven holes. I believe. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I was right. Seven holes. Dot Martin boots. They're a uh, brownish color. I've worn these uh, doing the garden. Uh, really like those. Let's go to the next pair. Another mid-high boot here. Dot Martin. It's got the same uh, hiking style as the other ones. It's got the three metal eyelets up top and the regular eyelets here for your, your lace up. Have the great uh, bottom on the bottom. These were made in England. Same soles. Last forever. These are my black ones. Let's move on to the next ones. Now we're getting into the original look here. Got the yellow threads that run around the bottom. Never had a problem with these boots. Great stitching. They're triple stitched here on the back. Have the white shoelaces in there. The leather. Good flexible once you break these things in. Man, these things are awesome. These right here, worn out a little bit. You can see where the tread's worn down. These are my black ones. These are one of my one of the pairs that I wear more than the other ones. I like those. They have the uh Pat around the top. Let's go to the next one. Alright, now we're going to move into the, the 10 hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the 10 hole. These are, you can see, steel toe. I don't know what color. These are maroon, ox blood color. Got this, the same famous uh, yellow stitching around the bottom. Have the air sole. Right there on the bottom it says the original. 
Oh, you can see that. These are the air wear with bounce and soles. These are a little higher boot, still the same great quality. Good boot. Let's go to the next ones. Now, these are getting to the original pair of Dot Mark boots, the 1460s. The 1460s. Air cushion soles, the same great yellow stitching, triple stitched around here, great leather, same great soles. Hope you can see those. These have a good look to them. These look good with jeans, khaki pants, military tactical pants. These boots will hold up, withstand anything. These are one of my favorite here, the old uh, 8i 1460s original. Now we're going to get to the true Dot Martens. Before I bring them out, I wish I had some cool music to play to bring these out. Let's do it. Let's go for it. The original Dot Martens right here. If you can see these, look at the back. You can just see the wear. See how the heel's crooked. I walk a little goofy. It's worn out on one side. I really like chewing on this one. I'm talking about my Dot Martens too. Makes me feel better. Look at these. Worn out. 1460 8i. I've had these since 1990. If you can calculate, I'll be 38 in April. 1990. Look at these things. These things right here, it says, made in England. They don't even stamp it the same on the bottom anymore. I don't want to get up. I want you to get a close up of that. Hope I can focus this for you. But look at this boot. I mean, it is just worn out, soft. The only thing I've had to do is change the shoestring a few times. The same great yellow thread. Look at the soles worn down. I mean, those things usually stick out this far. The leather. Oh, I mean, look at this. Worn out. These things have been through Stone Temple Pilots concerts when I used to get in a mosh pit. Remember the days when you used to run the circle when the song was over, everybody screaming and yelling, all the grass is gone. The old Lakewood Amphitheater in Atlanta, Georgia. It's all dirt. You know, I think I remember kicking somebody in the chest in a mosh pit one time with one of these, leaving a Doc Martin boot print on his chest. That's how we used to roll. Pearl Jam concerts, Black Crows, Collective Soul, Sound Garden. Silver chair, seven dust. Should we go on or are we over there? Nirvana. Remember those days? A little oasis. These are still holding up. There's no threads coming out. I mean, look at the use of these things. Man, they just don't tear up. I love them. But again, this is Mark Sanders, Blackout 33. You don't have to be 100% ready tomorrow. Just be 100% ready today.